one of the best moves that you can make for your real estate business right now is to set up some free guide squeeze pages. And what you want to do is simply offer a quality content that meets a need or solves a problem for a buyer and seller. And if you can do that, you're going to generate more leads for your business. So what I'd like to do is just show you a few examples and give you some ideas on what type of free guides to offer. In addition to generating those leads, why do you want to offer this content? Because right there, if you're offering informative content for buyers and sellers, it will build trust in you. They will see you as the local authority on real estate and it positions you and your business in that spot. Isn't that where you want to be? Where you've delivered quality content to someone who's out there right now searching online for real estate information like you know they're doing in your neighborhood right now. If you can deliver that content to them, it's going to provide your real estate business with a lot of benefit. Here's a great example of a highly targeted squeeze page. You know, first time home buyers, they make up, depending on your market, maybe 35 to 40 percent of the buyers right now. So why not target them with the squeeze page and deliver to them something that might help them through the process? So I have a squeeze page here that offers a free guide to help first time home buyers in San Diego. So it's specific to the group in the real estate, first time buyers and the area San Diego. And right below this video, we have a link for you to check out this live squeeze page. So check that out. So what kind of content do you want to offer on your squeeze pages? Well, you want, what you want to do is you want to create a page or two or three, but just start with one for a buyer or a seller. And then on your page, you want to offer free content that will help them. If they see it as value, they're going to become a lead. So buyers and sellers, what are they interested in? Well, how about saving time, saving money, avoiding mistakes, making the right moves, and simply learning about the home buying and selling process. People, what they want to do is they want to know they aren't doing something wrong before buying or selling a home, right? So what you want to do is con uh, package that content in a free guide and offer it on a squeeze page. Here are some good ideas for seller squeeze pages. Now again, sellers want to sell for what? The highest price. They want to sell fast. They want to know how to prepare their home for sale. They want to know maybe how they could increase the value of their home. They want to know how you can help them. So what, here are some good examples for sellers. These are squeeze page ideas. You can, how to sell your home fast, how to sell for more, 10 tips to prepare your home for sale. People like that, concise, a few tips in a, in a guide. Six quick fixes to increase your property value. How a realtor can help the seller. Current market conditions update. Let's say a, a seller report with recent sales in your neighborhood, a summer 2015 seller report. All of those are ideas that you can easily put together and package into content for a real estate squeeze page to generate seller leads. And with buyers, it's basically the same thing. Provide content on buying homes. So what can you do there? Well, you can target first-time home buyers. But you can use, when you're doing that with your guides for buying and selling, use your city, your neighborhood location, and get specific to your area because this works with website visitors. They see that and they know you're talking to them. So here's some good ideas for free guides for buyers. Seven ways a realtor helps a buyer, common buyer mistakes to avoid, costs involved in buying your first home. A lot of first-time buyers, they don't understand that. And then get specific. Let's say you live in Point Pleasant, New Jersey. How about an eight-point checklist for buyers in Point Pleasant, New Jersey? Package that together on a squeeze page like we talked about earlier with a headline, a graphic, bullet points, and a short opt-in form and it's going to work for you. So there are some great ideas on how to use free guides with squeeze pages. And below this video, we've got a link to that first time home buyer in San Diego page. So check that out so you can see a live page and how it works.